Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking about Leo and his story and some of his pup stories. So starting off in the family tree, Crystal is his mom and Leo is his dad. Uh, Leo is his dad. Leon is his dad. <laughs> Leon was from Junction Butte um, and only had one litter with Crystal, which was Leo's litter. So Leo is his mother's third litter. And Leo had two sisters. Actually, I'll go show you them as adults. Lila. Choosing between Leo and Lila was very difficult because I absolutely loved her. But I had more personality um, for Leo than I did for Lila, so I was like, you know what, we'll just go with Leo. Plus I didn't have a male heir at the time because Lake did not, didn't survive um, long enough to have a, his own litter, even a mate actually. Uh, he died in a hunting accident, but all of that is in Crystal's story video. And then we have Lily, who looks a lot like Helene. <laughs> Leo has a little bit of a backstory, so I'm going to go year by year, starting off with year five, the year that Leo was born, and the year that his father Leon died. All of that is in Crystal story videos, so if you'd like to know more about that, then you can go watch that video. So Leo didn't know his father for very long and he knew Avalanche for much longer than that. So Avalanche is more of a dad to him than Leon is. Then when he was a yearling in year six, he, um, Ava's litter was born and so that's how Leo knows Ava. So then year seven. The year that Leo left his pack as a two-year-old or a 23-month-old. So he left his pack with both of his sisters but went solo soon after. But he wasn't solo for long. He did his first hunt and then I took him into multiplayer where he met a male named Apex. And they became dispersal males together, traveling around Amethyst Mountain until uh, Leo comes across a she-wolf who he instantly falls in love with. And at this point I hadn't done the second elk hunt for Leo, so he left and hunted another elk and slept and he woke up and that female was there. He knew basically at this point that Beartooth14f was going to be his mate and she did end up being his mate and her name is Dove and together they made the White Dove Pack. Before I carry on I am going to read the rest of his bio. He's more of a listener and observer than a talker. He loves his freedom, willing to go on your adventures. In his birth pack and pack um, he was known for making good decisions, curious, inquisitive, avoids and tries to resolve conflicts. That's what that's what he shares in common with Ava. They both do not like conflicts. I don't think he ever fought a wolf or even chased them out of his territory. While Ava will chase them out of her territory, she won't fight them properly. But he's not afraid of a or to fight. Intelligent, has a good sense of humor, overthinks a lot, honest, kind-hearted, tolerant, and will sacrifice himself for those he cares for, loves water just like his mother. And that's after all of that. So, that was year seven. Going on to year eight, the year his mother also passed away. So this was the year that Leo and Dove established a territory together in Slough Creek. And like I said in Minnie's story, Avalanche came and informed Minnie of her mother's passing. And I imagine 
Avalanche did the exact same for Leo, and his mother was very important to him. He obviously suffered that heartbreak early on in his first litter. But in this first litter, I did choose an heir. We have 2M, 3F, and 2F. 2F died to disease, while 3F lived on with her brother 2M. I chose 3F as the heir from this litter, but obviously I did not choose her as the main heir because I took an heir from each litter and at the end of Leo's lifespan I decided who was going to be the main heir to carry on the pack. I have already chosen the main heir, so I'm going to show you her as a an adult because she does have a story. So 3F's name when she was grown up is Serena very pretty wolf she has one of the original coats she has her father's beautiful yellow eyes and here are her howls She does have a mm, torn in her right ear. Where she got that from, I'm not too sure. Um, maybe as a yearling. And she's quite a big female wolf. She has a plus one in strength, a minus one in stamina, a plus one in speed, and a minus one in health. So this is her biography, she has quite a story that I will read through. So Serena is offspring of Leo and Dove and comes from the White Dove Pack, born in year 8 and she's the only surviving female of her par parents, of her parents first litter. She was one of three pups in this litter her, her brother and her sister, but her sister died to sickness and so she knows the danger of sickness. This plays a huge part in where her life leads from then on. Serena is a wolf that has a lot of spirit, she is noble, active, she has been told by her- yeah. So she was told by her father that it is her birthright to rule and carry on this pack, the White Dove pack. However, she did not do that and her father respected her decision. She is balanced, powerful, and wants to use this to create peace, as her name means. She's a natural-born peacemaker and uses traditional forms of healing for herself and those she cares for. She picks her friends wisely. She's sympathetic, compassionate, generous, maternal, kind, and can be kind of sensitive as she feels emotions deeply. So Serena did end up leaving her birth pack when she was two years old, like every other wolf. Not every other wolf, but a lot of other wolves. And traveled throughout Slough Creek, Amethyst Mountain, and Lost River. Healing wolves and other animals. And creating a pack with other wolves who wanted to join her in her travels and help heal others with her. She never had any pups of her own. However, did she get a mate? So that was Serena as a pup, but now we move on to year nine, Doves and Leo's second litter. This litter did not disappoint. We did not have three pups, but we had seven. This was also the year that um, Ava set up her territory in Slough Creek, right next to her brothers, and had her first litter. In my Three Packs Collide video, you'll see that they were quite close at that time in this year, and Leo helped out as much as he could, but always prioritized his own pack. But as they grew older, they of course grew apart a bit, but their bond to each other was still quite strong as siblings. So there is another heir from this litter. I can't remember who it was. It's one of the two females that survived. I think it was the 2F. 
Um, anyways, a lot happened in this litter because 2M was picked up by a bear three, maybe four times. Leo was brought down to 26% health defending this pup, while 2M had 74% health after the attack. Quite a few pups felt sick during the litter, but all healed. Leo also came across a dead she-wolf in his ter- I guess it was a she-wolf, okay? It was quite a small wolf. Came across a dead she-wolf in his territory in the south, which is a bit mysterious. And later, 4F was killed by Prospect Peak 2M. And in return, Leo killed that wolf and had 5% remaining of his health. Right after that, Prospect Peak kind of became his biggest enemy, but they didn't go to war or anything like that. They just, just weren't on good, good terms at all. Sadie. Sadie looks a lot like Serena, except she has like these patches of fur that are a little differently colored. And she doesn't have yellow... She doesn't have yellow eyes, she has more like a gold color with a bit more orange than her father and Serena's sister. Sister Serena. Here are her howls. Don't believe anything has happened to any of her ears. No. She's also quite a big she wolf. She has a plus one in strength and a minus one in health. And she also has a story behind all of this, which will make more sense as I go through the rest of the pups and the rest of this pack's timeline. Uh, so she is offspring of Leo and Dove, she was born in year 9, oldest female of her parents' second litter. She is confident and was her mom's favorite. Dove picked up this pup so many times and the amount of times Dove fed this pup instead of any of the others, Sadie was definitely her mom's favorite. <laughs> She fell sick at 19,7 pounds and healed when the biggest pup was 20,5 pounds. Her sister 4F died to Prospect Peak 2M and so has a hatred towards Prospect Peak. Her brother 2M was nearly killed by a bear and so she was cautious with them but she's not as afraid as Minnie was. Uh, she is closest with her brother 2M. Yeah, they were the ones that ran off the most. <laughs> She is quite a happy wolf, often looking on the bright side of situations. She's forgiving, loves life, quite passionate, more of a follower than a leader, and that makes sense. Uh, she's sensitive, tactful, easy un easily understanding others' emotions and thoughts, values, family and traditions, selfless, loving, and kind. So Sadie did not leave her birth pack and stayed to help raise her younger siblings and spending her days hunting, patrolling and defending those she loves. Though after her father's passing, which means she would have been six years old I think, um, her mom and her traveled around Slough Creek and Amethyst Mountain until her mother followed her father. She wandered alone for another year before joining one of her siblings' packs and did what she had done for her parents and ended up peacefully passing on. So I think she would have joined her siblings' pack, and I'll tell you who that sibling is in a second, at age 7, and probably passed away at age 8. So Sadie does have a story not as eventful as Serena's could turn out to be, or our main heirs. Year 10! Oh, challenges! I forgot about the challenges! Okay, so Leo's first litter, the challenge was a no den challenge. Leo's second litter was also a no den challenge. And then third litter, I stopped the no den challenge because it got a little old. So instead, I did a challenge where I could have a den, I could have a rendezvous site, but I could not put the pups inside the den or rendezvous site, grass, tufts, whatever you want to call it, during an attack. 
which is surprising that all of our pups survived because I could not put them in safety while it was an attack. Most of the pups got really close to death with sickness. I think all of them except 6F fell sick. Uh, 2F healed at 4% health, which was really, really close. 3F at 23% health. 4F at 26% health and 5F at 8% health. Ooh. We came close a couple times. This was also the year that Minnie died, as well as um, Espen. So this was another heartbreaking year of Leo not knowing what happened to his sister Minnie. And this was the year that Ava had her second litter. Ava didn't really know um, Minnie. I think she would have met Minnie maybe once, um, but after that Minnie disappeared along with her mate and no one, or at least no one but her pups really knew what had happened. And that's why Three Packs Clyde video was so much fun because everyone was finding out different things. This was also the year that Serena left her pack. This was the year that Sadie was a yearling and this was their third litter together. It was 2F. 2F was our heir <laughs> from this litter. Her name is Ramona. She looks exactly like her mother just without the radio collar and the orangey eye. She has basically gray or white eyes which I find really cool because then she's taking after Crystal in a way because Crystal's eyes were like a dark bluey color. is a medium sized female has a minus one in stamina and a plus one in speed and has a story so Ramona is offspring of Leo and Dove she was born in year 10 she grew up in a litter of only girls and looks identical to her mother Ramona fell sick when she was quite young and just survived at 4% health she is balanced, powerful, noble, confident, energetic, kind-natured, and a bit of a perfectionist. Her heart's desire is to have a happy, loving family of her own and hopefully set up her own territory near her mother and father in order to be close to all those she loves. So Ramona did leave her birth pack at two years old, like many other wolves, and found herself a loving mate. I did not play out Ramon, I'm just making up the story. Um, they set up a territory right by her parents' one and had a small little family in pack and passed away at age seven in a battle to protect her family. I wanted to Ramona to go out in a fierce battle or something, I don't know why. Um, but this, this was the pack that Sadie joined at age seven and stayed with there until she was age eight and peacefully passed away right before this battle where Ramona died so this pack soon fell apart but yes that is Ramona's story now on to year 11 and there is own I know exactly who the heir of this litter is uh we did not have too great of a time but in the end, we did manage to have some pups survive. So year 11 is the year that not only did Leo and Dove have their fourth litter together, but they also had... This was also the year that Helene set up and had her first litter. This was also the year that uh, Armel and Prince met Serena. The year that Rika and Canyon had their second litter. The year that Ava and Turn had their third litter. So Leo and Dove have their fourth litter together of six pups, two boys and four girls. Tragically, only half of the litter survives. 3F dying to Junction Butte 3F when Junction Butte 3F and 2F attack the den. And 4F along with 2F dying to disease. 
This was also the year that Sadie was meant to disperse, but stayed behind and stayed with her parents. So Victoria is the only surviving female of her parents' fourth litter, and she was born in year 11. She has her mother's eyes, but her father and mother's coat. She has a slightly bent left ear, but otherwise nothing. And she is a very big female wolf. She has a plus two in strength, but that explains the size. A minus one in speed and a minus one in health and her biography. Offspring of Leo and Dove, born in year 11, and I've read all of that. She stuck close to her mom as both were the most damaged by the losses. She is very close to her two brothers. She is selfless, intelligent, likes her alone time and can be a little bit unfriendly. She's often quiet, shy and reserved, elegant, noble, confident, restless she will. Victoria stayed with her birth pack until her father's passing and her mother and her sister. Oh, no, sorry, I read that incorrectly. Victoria stayed with her birth pack until her father's passing and her mother and sister Sadie leaving to travel. She joined her younger sister Zinnia as she and Wiley were heading to Amethyst Mountain where Zinnia found herself a mate and told Victoria and Wiley that they are welcome to her pack at any time and so Victoria and Wiley ended up joining Zinnia's pack and headed to Slough Creek that could change, where she spent her time helping out her sister's pack until peacefully passing away at age 8. From that, you should now know who the main heir is. Alright, Leo's fifth litter. I started naming pup pups here. We have Clayton, Farley, Karita, Zinnia, who is our main heir and will be coming soon. I will be playing her soon. Davina, Lydia, and Terrell. Or Terrell, I'm not quite sure how to say his name. Lydia died to sickness, Terrell died to sickness, but Davina died to coyotes while she was sick. So Davina was sick and died to coyotes before she could die to sickness. So. Okay, here is Zinnia. Beautiful girl. Orangey yellow eyes. Nothing wrong with her ears, she has a radio collar and she is a very big female wolf. She has a plus two in strength, a minus one in stamina and a minus one in health. Um, she does not have the longest bio because we will be playing her in the future and so that bio will grow. But Wiley and Victoria do join her pack. She's offspring of Leo and Dove, born in year 12, puphood, lost three siblings. Two to sickness and one to coyotes, was the smallest pup but not the brunt. Does like dance and curl up and to curl up when sleeping. Personality, sweet, very vocal, genuine, highly focused, nice, energetic, confident, elegant, noble, cheerful, lively, natural born leader and has the heart's desire to be one. Obviously that bio will grow because I do want to take her into multiplayer, develop her as a character but I say character, but develop her personality a bit more um, before taking her, in, her into single player and making her pack. Alright, Leo's last litter.
Neo had two pups with Dove in their elder year. Ripley died after his father, so Neo peacefully passed away right after the pups were born. Um, and then Ripley died of I don't know what causes. I want to say sickness because he was a runt. And Wiley managed to live on. At least a pup made it and not none. Here is Wiley. I'm pretty sure he has the same coat as Zinnia. But he does not have a radio collar. And I think his eyes are a little bit darker. I don't believe anything is wrong with his ears. He's an average sized male wolf. He has a plus one in speed and a minus one in health. And he has a story. And he had choices to make quite early on in his life. So offspring of Leo and Dove, born in year 13. He is the youngest of all his parents' pups and from their last litter which was just him and his twin brother Ripley, who was a runt and unfortunately died. He is wise, curious, gentle, sharp, sympathetic, compassionate, generous, paternal, friendly, active, and he loves his freedom and adventures. Wiley was a pup when his father died and a yearling when his mother left with his older sister Sadie to travel. He was left with two options go with his mother and Sadie, or go with his older sisters, Victoria and Zinnia. He chose to go with Victoria and Zinnia, and they traveled to Amethyst Mountain, where Zinnia found herself a, loving, a lovely mate. Uh, before Zinnia left to go to Slough Creek with her mate, uh, she told Wiley and Zinnia that they were welcome to join her pack at any time. Wiley and Victoria both ended up joining Zinnia's pack, Wiley, obviously because he was too young to find a mate, and Victoria probably failing to find a mate or having no interest in one. Wiley was happy in his sister's pack, but two years later, at age three, he wanted to try and go out into the world on his own and maybe find himself a mate. And have his own pack. After two years of being alone, he decided to head back to his sister's pack at age five and he was welcomed with open arms slash paws. He ended up, he spent the rest of his days and years with his sister's pack before finally passing away at age nine. Zinnia would have been 10 years old when um, Wiley passed away, but I do imagine him sticking around with um, the pups, her pups. Um, Victoria obviously would have been like 11 years old, so she would have been the first to go. Yes, so that is this pack story, uh, the White Dove pack. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episodes. Bye!